Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm asking a very specific question and that is, will Samsung's Galaxy Note 8 battery once again cost Samsung millions of dollars in sales? Now, this comes out because of leaks. And before I get started, I will say right from the get-go, I will buy a Galaxy Note 8. But I don't think a lot of the main consumers out there will. And here's why. See, there's a lot of leaks that have been coming out and a lot of YouTubers get their best leaks from Evan Blass. And he has put this article up about on Venture Beat, and he covered actually the first press images of the Note 8, which we covered earlier this week. And when we did that, you know, we went over the look, went over the style, we confirmed a lot of things we already knew, and we've talked a lot about this phone. We talked about that on August 23rd is going to be the announcement, on September 15th will be the launch. So there's a lot of things that we know about this device. And he has heard from his sources, I have my own sources inside of Samsung, but he's heard from his sources in Samsung a couple of things on the specs. And a lot of them are correct, but some of them I do differ with. So first of all, 6.3 inch display, definite. It's gonna be 0.1 inch bigger than the SA Plus. 2K display, I would find that a bit odd. It definitely is a possibility and definitely is a probability uh, if Samsung doesn't wanna to change too much. I was hoping for a 4K display. If they don't do that, hopefully since Samsung toted this so much as a multimedia device, they were at least gonna get a 120 hertz screen. Hopefully, but we'll have to wait and see. And same processor, six gigs of RAM, however, so we are getting that same way, the six gigs of RAM, and then 64 gigs storage with micro SD card. Here's the big thing on the camera, I definitely differ with them. I do not believe it's gonna be a 2X zoom. From everything I've heard, it's gonna be a 3X zoom. And we went over that on Mobile Weekly. So if you wanna see all the camera features that the Note 8 is gonna have with the three times zoom, go ahead and check out that show. First 10 minutes, we go all into the camera features the Note 8 will have. Now that being said, this is the big problem, and that is the battery. See, Samsung obviously had a lot of issues with the Note 7 battery, but this is an entirely different issue that could cost it the same amount of millions and millions of dollars in sales. So here's the thing, Galaxy Note 8, great phone. Here's the thing, the battery is rated at 3,300 milliamps. Now, although that's great, big size battery, way bigger than a lot of other smartphones out there, it's nowhere near the size of the current battery on the SA Plus, which is 3,500. Now, when I say nowhere near, obviously it's close, but it's not where it needs to be. Look, Samsung could do some software tweaks and say, oh, it's basically the same battery, you know, but here's the thing. It's the same processor, smaller battery, same display. How much tweaks can they really do to the software to really improve the battery life? I don't think that many. I think at best, yeah, you might get similar battery life, but here's the thing. That's not gonna come across Samsung because you need to get the PR campaign ready for this. Those carriers that sell your phones and those tech expert diehard Note fans know their specs and they're gonna compare it side by side. This phone is supposed to be more expensive than the SA Plus between $920 and $980, up to $1,000, depending on your carrier. Here's the problem. This has a bigger battery, spec-wise. And all that your carriers are going to say when you walk in is they're going to sell customers the SA Plus so they can attach more accessories to them. And that's all they're gonna do. Because why would they recommend the Note when, oh, you don't want the Zoom? Yeah, you should just get the uh, SA Plus then, because guess what? It has a longer battery. It has a longer battery life. Why is that? Because this has 3,500 milliamp battery and the Note only has 3,300 milliamp battery. Is this a fair assessment? Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see what software tweaks Samsung really has made, but that is going to be a devastating blow, one which I believe could cost Samsung millions in sales. What do I mean by that? I mean, look, there's still gonna be some diehard Note people. I'm one of them. I'm gonna buy the Note 8 no matter what. I'm going to trade up for my SA Plus. But I can tell you, look in the comment section in this video, and I'm guaranteeing some of you are already saying, 
Yes, if it does have a smaller battery, I'm not upgrading from my SA Plus. I'm keeping my, uh, you know, some people still have their Note 7 from last year. Some people are still on their S7 Edge. They want a bigger battery. And if they are waiting for the Note 8 to do that, and the Note 8 doesn't, they're just gonna get the SA Plus. And the Note 8 will not be the smash hit you need it to be against the iPhone 10th Anniversary Edition. This is gonna be the big difference, is the Note 8 needs to be the best of all. You can't split half of it here and half of it there with the Note 8 and SA Plus and tell consumers, you get what you want. We want it all. The Note has always been the you can have it all phone. If it has a smaller battery, it's going to cause concern for the Note customers. They are the ones that know specs better than anyone. And again, we want the best of the best. And that is what the Note has been. You can check out our channel, top 10 phones every single year. The Note has topped every single year because it's always been the best of the best. Will that happen if the S8 Plus is going to be out there with a better battery? And if you have a similar camera, that's hard to tell. Overall, I'm very curious to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me that this is going to be a PR nightmare if Samsung does indeed have a 3,300 milliamp battery where their S8 Plus has a 3,500 milliamp battery? 200 more milliamps will be the difference of maybe half an hour to an hour, but the whole point of it is definitely going to be the fact that that's the difference, is that this is going to be a bigger battery on an inexpensive or at least less expensive phone compared to your new flagship. Now, I believe, yes, that Samsung could in the first month have sold 7 million Note 8s, but maybe they'll sell 5 million now. That is the kind of difference I'm saying. I'm not saying that Samsung's going to Note 8 will flop, but I do think this is going to cost them and it's unnecessary, especially if you followed us for a long time, you know. I have long ever said, Samsung, you have permission to make thicker phones. You have permission. We're okay with it. Put 0.5 millimeters thicker phone, give us a 4,000 milliamp battery. Hey, we'll buy your phone all day. We'd rather have longer all day battery life than the thinnest smartphone out there. Any poll will tell you that if you just ask your consumers. And that's the biggest thing I feel like. I feel like the Samsung is trying to play it too safe with this because of last year's fiasco, but if they just would have made the phone thicker, we would have gladly taken that instead. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Again, do you agree or disagree? Are you fine with this 3,300 milliamp battery? Or is this going to cause you to wait for a S9 or a Note 9 next year? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.